for our first DIY, you're going to need some fabric and stuffing. First, we're going to need six fabric circles for our petals. I used a cup as my stencil. You'll also need two smaller circles for the center of our flower. To start off our petals, we're going to fold our circle into a taco and then one more time into an ice cream cone. Then we're going to take our needle and thread, but don't be worried if you aren't good at sewing because neither am I. It's a very simple weaving motion. Remember not to pull your needle all the way through. It'll make it easier to stay in a straight line. Once you're done with the petal, just push it down along your thread. Leave some thread on the end because we will be tying it together. If you enjoy watching DIYs, please consider subscribing. I'd love to hit my 1000 subscribers milestone this year. I feel like I'm so close and I'd love for you to be a part of my community. I did a couple knots just to secure everything and then I cut the ends. We're going to take a cardboard circle and our stuffing and then we're going to start gluing our fabric down. Then we're going to glue it to the center of our flower. And to cover the bottom of our flower, we're going to glue down another piece of fabric. I made another flower with a smaller cardboard center. Which do you like more? Let me know down in the comments. For our next DIY, we're going to use some more fabric, burlap, and cardboard. We're going to cut out a circle from our cardboard. Since the fabric I'm going to use is white, you can see the cardboard in the back. So I decided to paint my cardboard white, but you can definitely skip this step depending on the type of fabric you use and if you use poster board instead of cardboard. Once that was dry, I measured how much fabric I needed. I left a 2 inch space of fabric around my cardboard since we'll be cutting strips and gluing them to the back. This is how the front looks. Now we're going to add our burlap. I also measured down 2 inches from where my cardboard ends. I wanted the burlap to have a fold, so I glued that down before placing it onto my cardboard. I glued the sides down first, so my little pocket in the front was leveled, and then I glued down the rest of the burlap. Since it doesn't look very pretty back here, I glued down some fabric so it'll look nice from all sides. Next, we are going to be DIYing a tiered tray using bowls. You'll need three different size bowls plus any decor you'd like to use. This is my favorite hack because you don't need any extra storage space. Whenever the tiered tray is not being used, you can take it apart and place your bowls back into the cupboard. Once we have our tiered tray ready, we can start decorating. What are your favorite items to place in tiered trays? Let me know down in the comments. Music 
this next DIY turned out so cute. You can easily switch out what's in the frame depending on the season. I love being able to reuse items I already have for the next holiday. I'm going to trace some bunnies onto my scrapbook paper and then cut them out. Next, we'll be gluing them down onto the scrapbook paper. To give our bunnies some dimension, we're going to give them little cotton ball tails. I used half a cotton ball for each little bunny tail. Then I hot glued everything down. For this DIY, I'll be turning a Valentine's Day gumball jar into some Easter decor. I placed some green crinkle paper into the jar. And then added some cute little bunnies. This is such an easy DIY. You don't need many items. Sometimes just by adding small decor pieces like carrots or bunnies to your everyday decor can make it feel more seasonal and new. This DIY turned out adorable. You'll need some glittery felt. I got mine from Hobby Lobby, pillow stuffing, and a pom-pom. First, we are going to trace and cut two bunnies from our felt. Then we are going to start hot gluing both of our bunnies together. Once you have your bunnies glued together, leave an opening for the stuffing. Since the glitter felt is more stiff than the regular felt, it can easily stand up on its own. So I use a scrap piece to cover the opening and keep the stuffing from coming out. This is perfect for storing because you can take all the stuffing out and it'll lay flat for storage. So it'll be ready for the following year. You can't have a spring and Easter video without including a little carrot patch DIY. I love these simple DIYs that turn out so cute. I got a small clay pot and filled the bottom with tissue paper just so I can fill up some space. Then I added my green crinkle paper. And now for my organic non-GMO carrots. I'm only kidding, I got these from the Dollar Tree. I added a little bow for the finishing touch. For this DIY, we're going to be using another Valentine's decor piece and turning it into something for spring. Since this little Valentine's Day truck is light pink, it fits in perfectly with the pastels used in spring decor. We're going to add some flowers picked straight from the Dollar Tree garden. For our next DIY, we're going to be turning our clay pot into an entire carrot. So I've got some options here in case you've got any pots you'd like to incorporate into your spring decor. First, we're going to cut our felt into a four inch long strip. Then I made a fringe along the side, leaving an inch gap. If you're wondering how big I made the fringe, I cut each strip one centimeter apart.
Once that's ready, we're going to hot glue it to the top of our clay saucer. You can use this as decor or you can fill the pot with treats and gift it to someone special for Easter.